Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Box Markets for Tuesday, the 17th of January. Starting off uh, with the FTSE 100, where we're near the top, we've had a bit of a block there around what's that, the 78.80 area. That's uh, just sort of near the record intraday highs. I think it was 79.03, something like that. So obviously, there's going to be a bit of uh, hesitation. Uh, we've got support there at the initial January resistance around 77.30. So really looking for the, the uh, elusive break of 78.80 to take us on to 8,000, which is at the top of that rising trend channel from October, and looking for 8,000 or so by the end of next month while we hold above 77.30, 77.40 at this stage. Not expecting anything below 76.30 now, which was the breakout area and old post-February resistance for the FTSE. On to the DAX, uh, where we would assume there's a similar uh, loitering near the highs, yes, there, and there is. Uh, here we've got uh, the initial uh, January resistance around 14,800, looking for 15,500 by the end of next month, and uh, hoping that uh, the 14,800 area will hold in the meantime. Got the 200-day line starting to rise as well, which is nice, and that should provide a bit of a me momentum, even though obviously we've come a, a long way since uh, the October, September, October lows for this market moving on to the dow which uh, hopefully will be open today after its little holiday um here we've got a situation where we're still looking for an attack on 34,600 or so which was the uh, november december resistance above that 36,000 potentially by the end of next month on the downside the 50-day moving average there around uh, 33,500 and that's also the floor of the rising trend channel from the uh, well basically back in september on to bitcoin which has been the star of the show over recent days let's hope it continues to be the star of the show because it needs a bit of a, a warm-up after the uh, nightmares of 2022 uh, hopefully this is a bull flag here consolidation above the 20,000 area and above the uh, 200 day moving average uh, we've got that 200 day line now starting to curl up which is great uh, we might not need to have a test of support there around 19,500, but at least while we're above 19,500, looking for September resistance around the uh, $23,000 mark. Above that, the best case scenario of the next one to two months would be a move up to the top of that broadening triangle from the end of June, which is 30,000, at which point I think most uh, crypto lovers would be dancing a uh, well, dancing around very merrily indeed. On to the stocks of the day, and uh, first is Active Energy, and uh, here you can see there's been a gap higher through the trend line there from August, uh, also broken through the 50-day moving average. That was a bear trap uh, gap reversal from below November support at 4 pence, above 4 looking for uh, around 5.3 pence initially at the 200-day line, and then up above uh, that looking for 7.5 pence potentially by the end of next month, but, but we want to stay above the 4 pence area on active uh, vector the star of the show today uh, giving us some news it's been uh, long awaited uh, situation here the gap to the upside we hit the uh, top of that rising trend channel which uh, we were looking for for quite some time uh, that was uh, basically an august resistance line from 2021 uh, hit that line there at 160 i suppose we went up to 165 so just a bit of an overshoot there the ideal scenario now is that we uh, remain above or near to the 150 level and if we have an end of day close above that, then we're looking for a new leg to the upside. Uh, that could be, uh, at least in terms of the uh, uh, resistance line projection, the, uh, the next one, uh, that would be up towards the line that I'm drawing at the moment, so up to two pounds. And I would say that that could be valid while that target valid, at least while we're above the floor in that gap there at 140. But uh, everything here depends on holding that 140 to 150 area. Ideally, we hold above 150. That would really be a great result and i think that would be what the news deserves but uh, obviously profit taking uh, can come in in these situations and uh, people who wanted to get out might want to get out even though there is good news there uh, while we're above 140 still looking great and above 150 even better on to uh, blue star which uh, is um, so i suppose it's a, one of the punters favorites a perennial favorite here uh, we've got this broadening triangle in place on the daily chart that's been in place since september Top of that triangle heading towards 0.23 and the 200 day moving average and we're looking for that while we hold above that old december peak at uh, 0.16 so above 1.16 0.23 0.24 over the next few weeks on to caspian 
Sunrise, which uh, is obviously a very poetic name for a company. Here we've had a beautiful unfilled gap to the upside, one of our favorite uh, setups. It's a, in fact, it's a bear trap gap reversal from below May support. Above the uh, November peak there at 4.8 pence, we're looking for the shares to initially hit 6 pence and then maybe get up to 7 pence by the end of next month, which is a line of resistance from back in November 2020. So we're 7 pence, hopefully there over the near term. On to a stock which uh, the main thing I remember about it, apart from the uh, trendy epic code, is the very widespread. But uh, here we've got Fusion bouncing on the 200-day moving average rather at uh, 54 pence above that. We're looking really for the shares to head back to uh, the one pound area. It shouldn't be really anything in between uh, here and there. There is uh, the old resistance there at 59 pence, so maybe uh, if you're cautious, you wait for a weekly close above uh, the 59.60 pence area before assuming we'll head up to the uh, glories of last summer. Moving on to the next situation, and that is Illica, which has been making uh, good ground over the uh, recent past. Here you can see that uh, we've got a broadening triangle there. We've hit the first target, uh, which was around uh, the uh, 42 pence level and now we're looking for the next level up as high as 60 pence and the 200 day moving average is peaking through there and uh, the 200 day line hopefully we could hit that by the end of this month upside valid especially while we hold above the top of that uh, gap down back in uh, november at 45 so above 45 looking for 62 there on illica next situation is one that um, is a uh, new stock to me medica here we've broken through the 50 day moving at the 200 day moving average rather that was around uh, the one pound 49 pence level and above that on an end of day close basis looking for the may resistance line projection as high as one pound 70 by the end of the month uh, interesting uh, news from uh, Enkin daisy and um, here we can see that uh, the shares are starting to respond we had an unfilled gap to the upside bounce off the floor of that rising trend channel from the beginning of last year and looking for the shares now to head up to the top of the range 1.6 pence by the end of next month while we hold above the 0.6 pence area which is the top of that gap uh, shield biotherapeutics is the next stock or rather skin biotherapeutics let's get it right uh, here we've got a situation where the shares have uh, tried to bounce off the uh, bear trap lows there just below uh, 16 pence current situation is that we're hoping that we'll get an end of day close through the 50 day moving average at 19 pence and that'll lead the shares on to 23 pence over the next few weeks. Tower, uh, tower is next and uh, Tower Resources. And here you can see there's been a sharp spike and a gap, a bear trap gap reversal there. Above the 50 day moving average at 0.18, we're looking for 0.32, which is a an April resistance line projection. Hopefully we'll see that even as soon as the end of this month. Tavistock is the uh, next situation and here we've got an um, uh, unfilled gap to the upside through the 50-day moving average which is rising. Initial target here up to uh, the uh, 10 and a half pence level. End of February target as high as 14 pence which is a one-year resistance line projection on the daily chart. Upside value while we hold above 7 pence on Tavistock. Looks like they made the first signs of a turnaround at United Oil and Gas. Here we've got uh, an island reversal, a bear trap island reversal. So it's a big um, technical turnaround or charting turnaround above a penny looking for uh, the 1.5 pence area at the floor of that November uh, gap down. And maybe we could see that by the end of next month, but really need to hold a penny on UOG. A couple of situations to look at first. One is the uh, is uh, TAP Global, which has had a good start on the market over uh, the uh, last uh, few days uh, here you can see we had our old target or initial target four and three quarters pence above that looking for six and a half to six and three quarters by the end of next month let's see if support uh, comes in around that four and three quarter pence area on tap uh, next up a special uh, occasion we've got uh, crypto here the tap uh, versus the us dollar so the crypto version and uh, here we can see that uh, we had a bit of a consolidation there. We broke resistance around 0 0.009 and above that level looking for a break of 0 0.015 and then on to 0 0.025 maybe over the next month. So maybe by the end of next month up to the top of that rising trend channel from the end of December as high as 0 0.025. Only back below 
uh, let's say 009 would really delay the upside scenario there on that situation. So let's see if uh, the crypto charting works there over the near term. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.